The United States has unveiled a groundbreaking invention in military aviation, an anti-gravity aircraft that defies human logic and perhaps even the laws of physics. This discovery pushes the boundaries of our scientific understanding and introduces some truly astonishing and unbelievable projects. However, this is just the beginning. American aviation companies continue to work on top-secret projects with features and designs that promise to shock the world. What are the details of these covert projects? Do these remarkable creations truly defy the laws of physics? Join us as we uncover the mysteries surrounding the U.S. Air Force's anti-gravity aircraft, a machine that is said to defy the very principles of physics. Let's start with the Antelope Valley. This area, a powerhouse for the U.S. defense industry, is brimming with military bases and top-tier government contractors. Spanning 300 acres between Palmdale and Lancaster, California, it hosts the U.S. Air Force's Skunk Works, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. To the north lies the renowned Edwards Air Force Base, and a bit further, the U.S. Naval Base at China Lake. Then there's the legendary Groom Lake area, famously known as Area 51, a hot spot for secrets and rumored extraterrestrial encounters. This region isn't just a hub, it's the epicenter of advanced aviation and mysterious phenomena. Among the many mysterious creations from these locations is the TR-3A Black Manta, a hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft. This aircraft emerged from a secret collaboration between the U.S. Air Force and Northrop Grumman, the same minds behind the legendary B-2 Spirit stealth bomb. Rumors also suggest projects like the Astra Aurora and SR-72 as potential successors to the iconic Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. However, the TR-3A is likely the precursor to the Aurora project, laying the groundwork for even more advanced and sophisticated aircraft. The TR-3A Black Manta is distinguished by its stealth features and unique triangular shape, designed to evade radar detection. Unlike the Aurora, the TR-3A does not have conspicuous protruding wings. Instead, it is crafted with exaggerated stealth features and a special polymer coating with radar absorption capabilities. This advanced design allows it to manipulate its radar appearance, mimicking other objects to evade detection. The story takes a wild turn with the TR-3B, an aircraft said to be powered by a reverse-engineered anti-gravity drive, supposedly recovered from a crashed alien spacecraft. This is where reports of UAPs performing impossible aerial maneuvers intersect with tales of real aircraft. The internet is filled with fascinating claims about the TR-3B's anti-gravity drive. Most of these stories involve nuclear power spinning highly pressurized mercury to create plasma, generating a gravitational field. Many accounts of the TR-3B's development link back to Operation Paperclip, a program that brought over 1,500 German scientists and engineers to the U.S. at the end of World War II to work on various defense technologies. Myths about advanced Nazi technologies emerging after the war have influenced the folklore around this anti-gravity platform. While these stories might sound far-fetched, some evidence supports parts of them. For instance, an anti-gravity drive like the one believed to power the TR-3B would need an enormous power source, far beyond our current aviation engines. Yet, Lockheed Martin holds a patent for containerized cold fusion reactors, which they claim could be compact enough to fit inside the fuselage of an F-16. The most extreme aspects of the TR-3B could potentially be explained by the work of Dr. Salvatore Cesar Pice, an aerospace engineer reportedly employed by the U.S. Space Force. In 2020, the U.S. Navy filed a series of strange patents featuring what seems like science fiction technology, similar to claims about the TR-3B. These patents cover topics from gravitational wave generators to space-time modification weapons, all linked to PICE. Despite significant skepticism from the scientific community, the U.S. Navy's investment in PICE's work suggests serious interest in these advanced concepts. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is another marvel of American aviation technology. Developed between 1989 and 2000, this heavy bomber employs special technology to avoid radar detection and penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses. Its development, shrouded in secrecy, involved significant advancements in stealth technology, 
making it a key player in modern aerial combat. The development of the B-2 Spirit began with the Advanced Technology Bomber Project during the Carter administration. It canceled the faster B-1A bomber because the new project looked promising. By the mid-1970s, military aircraft designers had discovered a groundbreaking way to evade missiles and enemy interceptors, a method we now know as stealth. The idea was to create aircraft with shapes and materials that reflected or absorbed radar signals, making them nearly invisible to radar detection. This meant that stealthy aircraft could fly undetected and avoid attacks from radar-dependent weapon systems. Although there were other detection methods like infrared scanners and acoustic locators, their limited range and underdeveloped technology meant that most stealth aircraft could fly unnoticed, especially at night. In 1947, DARPA asked United States aviation companies to propose designs for aircraft that would be nearly invisible to radar. Northrop and McDonnell Douglas were initially chosen for further development, while Lockheed, with its experience from the A-12 and SR-71 projects, also joined the race. These projects had already featured several stealth innovation, such as angled vertical stabilizers, the use of composite materials, and radar-absorbing paint. A major advancement was the use of computer models to design aircraft with faceted surfaces that minimized radar reflections. Lockheed began developing these ideas in 1975 with the Have Blue project, an experimental aircraft to test stealth concepts. By the summer of 1975, DARPA had launched the Experimental Survivability Test Bed Project, awarding contracts to Northrop and Lockheed for initial testing. Lockheed's success led to further development and the creation of the iconic F-117 stealth attack aircraft. Meanwhile, Northrop was working on its own classified stealth project, the Tacit Blue, at Area 51. This project, which began in 1979, developed key stealth technologies such as low observables, fly-by-wire systems, curved surfaces, composite materials, electronic intelligence, and battlefield surveillance capability. The stealth technology from Tacit Blue eventually contributed to the design of the B-2 stealth bomber, revolutionizing modern aerial combat. By 1976, stealth technology had advanced enough to make a long-range strategic stealth bomber a real possibility. President Jimmy Carter learned about these developments in 1977, leading to the cancellation of the B-1 bomber project in early 1978. After the Have Blue stealth aircraft successfully demonstrated key concepts, further studies were ordered. During the 1980 presidential election campaign, Ronald Reagan criticized Carter for being weak on defense, using the B-1 cancellation as a prime example. In response, on August 22 of that same year, Carter administration revealed that the Department of Defense was developing stealth aircraft, including a new bomber. The Advanced Technology Bomber Program started in 1979 under the active codename Aurora. After several eliminations, the competition for the best company to entrust with the development of this project narrowed down to two teams, Northrop Boeing and Lockheed Rockwell. Both were proposing flying wing designs. Northrop, with its experience from the YB-35 and YB-49 flying wing projects, presented a larger design, while Lockheed's design included a small tail. In 1979, designer Hal Markarian sketched a concept that closely resembled the final B-2 design. Initially, the Air Force planned to acquire 165 of these bombers. On October 20, 1981, Northrop's design, known as Senior Ice, was selected over Lockheed's Senior Peg, and the bomber was eventually designated B-2 and named Spirit. Midway through development, the B-2's mission profile shifted from high altitude to low altitude, terrain following, delaying its first flight by two years and adding about $1 billion to the program's cost. By 1989, an estimated $23 billion had been secretly invested in the B-2's research and development. MIT engineers and scientists assessed the aircraft's mission effectiveness under a classified contract during the 1980s. Northrop was the prime contractor, with major subcontractors including Boeing, Hughes, and Vought aircraft. During its design and development, the Northrop's B-2 program operated under such secrecy that it was classified as a black project, requiring all personnel involved to have top-secret clearance. 
Despite this, it was slightly less secretive than the Lockheed F-117 program. With more federal officials aware of its existence and more information available about the project, both during development and in service. Extraordinary measures were taken to protect the B-2's design and technology. Anyone working on the B-2 needed special access clearance and underwent rigorous background checks by a specialized branch of the USAF. Project secrecy extended to a former Ford automobile assembly plant in Pico Rivera, California, which was acquired and extensively rebuilt for the bomber's production. Employees there were sworn to secrecy. Components were bought through front companies. Military officials visited in civilian clothes and staff were frequently subjected to polygraph tests. For years, almost all information about the program was withheld from the Government Accountability Office and Congress until the mid-1980s. The B-2 was first shown to the public on November 22, 1988, at the United States Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, where it was built. This event was highly restricted, and guests were not allowed to see the back of the bomber. However, editors from Aviation Week noticed there were no airspace restrictions above the site and took aerial photos of the aircraft's secret rear section, which included hidden engine exhausts. It was unlike any other bomber previously developed. There is a key part of the story that was essential for the B-2 spirit to become more than just an idea on paper. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. The development of this aircraft was shrouded in such secrecy that even top Pentagon officials were unaware of its existence. The mystery surrounding the F-117 Nighthawk sparked intriguing stories due to the limited information available about the plane and sightings by witnesses who saw unusual shapes in the sky. This led to the birth of the legend of the F-19 stealth fighter. Many believed it was a non-existent fifth-generation aircraft and it even appeared in model kits like the Revel monogram, named Hillary and Chester, supposedly based on photos taken at Area 51. When the F-117 was finally revealed in late 1988, any notion of it being the same as the F-19 quickly disappeared. The choice of the misleading designation F-117, where F stands for fighter, was likely deliberate. This was intended to hide the true purpose of the future American aircraft from the Soviet Union. After its combat debut during Operation Desert Storm became public, the air fighter quickly demonstrated its capability. However, after the F-117 crashed, the People's Republic of China approached the Yugoslav government to request access to the wreckage. This granted them access to the guidance systems and various heat-resistant components of the engine nozzle. According to the former head of Croatia's military headquarters, agents from the People's Republic of China actively searched the crash site where the Americans had been. People even resorted to purchasing plane parts from local farmers in their quest to understand the technology. Let's dive into the Bird of Prey, an intriguing aircraft born from a collaboration between McDonnell Douglas and Boeing back in the 1990s. It earned its nickname bird of prey due to its striking resemblance to these majestic hunters in flight. What set the bird of prey apart was its incredibly low radar profile. Engineers achieved this through a smart aerodynamic design that hid any gaps in the aircraft. They used flexible casings to cover these gaps while meticulously aligning the cockpit, landing gear, wings, and fuselage to ensure nothing stuck out, making it incredibly stealthy. Even the engine air inlet was cleverly hidden from radar, enhancing its stealth capabilities further. The development of the Bird of Prey was marked by innovative methods like advanced computer simulations that accurately predicted its performance. This approach allowed engineers to create component prototypes that closely mirrored the final product, a new method compared to older techniques. Before it took to the skies, many doubted if this seemingly futuristic aircraft could even fly. Chief pilot Rudy Hogg famously made a paper model of the bird of prey that gracefully flipped in the air before soaring, surprising everyone. In 1996, Hogg piloted the bird of prey, making history and revolutionizing aircraft design and construction. Today, you won't find the bird of prey tucked away in secret bases like Area 51. Instead, it's on display at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Wright-Patterson, Ohio, where you can see it firsthand. 
The unveiling of anti-gravity aircraft and advanced stealth technology marks a new era in military aviation. The United States keeps progressing with the development of extremely advanced fighter jets with mind-blowing capabilities. And it seems like this nation cracked the technology code. The U.S. continues to push the boundaries of what is possible, developing technologies that seem to defy the laws of physics. As these projects progress, they hold the potential to revolutionize not only military capabilities, but also our understanding of science and technology. It's safe to say that there is no limitation to the technology that the U.S. can develop. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.